Support Move University in the production of more videos by visiting the link in the description below where you'll find more details. Thank you and enjoy. So Rutherford's gold foil experiment with the hypothesis based on the plum pudding model predicted that the alpha particles should go straight through the atoms of the gold foil. But in the actual result that led to what this video is about, the nuclear model, was there was reasoning that um, that there was a tiny dense nucleus that contains small positively charged particles that he called protons, which caused these deflections. So the nuclear model kind of looks like this, where there's this, this green space kind of um, shows the area where the electrons can hang out, and the center here, we've got the protons um, in the nucleus of the atom, right? So this here is the nucleus. Let me sort of label that like this. This portion here is the nucleus, okay, where those positively charged protons are hanging out in there. So that already looks like a little bit of a problem. We know that like charges repel, so that's got to be an issue. But there was another key issue with this model, and that was that it did not account for the atom's entire mass. So later, in 1932, James Chadwick discovered neutrons in the nucleus. Neutrons were, or are rather, neutrally charged particles that, when added to this model, accounted for the atom's entire mass, as as well as um, as impacts w why the nucleus can even exist with protons hanging out inside of it, because these positively charged particles um, would likely repel. But neutrons being there um, kind of helps with that, if you will. Anyway, I hope that video was helpful in kind of visualizing how they came up with this nuclear model um, based on the gold foil experiment. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe for more content. Also, follow Move University on the different social media links in the description below. Thank you and happy studying.